Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe. Can I go to hell, you? Hell yeah! T's back in the motherfucking booty! No one does a hell yeah like T, can I just say. So anyways, today is like a very special day because Pat McGrath came out with concealers. We're gonna look at them today and use the whole system together. I didn't even know these were coming out. They just kind of, they're like, you know, we're dropping out some concealers right now and I'm like, okay. And that's exactly what happened with the foundations too. They're very secretive and like, you know, all of a sudden they just drop some hot fire and they're like, you're welcome. They don't actually say that. But anyways, it's just like a fun surprise exclusive of drops and you're like oh my gosh I need this so the foundation is actually my favorite foundation right now it kind of taught me to love my skin I think that in makeup you're always taught to cover it up and this is like build your coverage type of foundation so I thought that was cool because I never got to see my skin that way I've used a lot of sheer foundations and they're kind of like am I just wasting my time right now Yes. That's why I really like the foundation because it makes your natural skin look amazing and the best it can, which is how it taught me to love my skin. But this, I feel like, even when I'm pretending to be like, you know, a natural girl, I'll mix this with moisturizer or like a liquid glow and then just go out through the day and be like, oh, I'm not even wearing makeup. But anyways, if you want to hear more about the foundation, I did a video about that. And again, that's the thing is I was a part of the campaign for the foundation and I didn't even know they were coming out with foundation. Obviously it makes sense expanding the makeup line one day they call they like yo um don't tell anybody but we're coming out with foundation do you want to be a part of the campaign and i did laps around my apartment screaming tried to play it cool on the phone could not do it anyways that's another story so now we have concealers makes sense you want to complete the line and there's also these and i'm opening up everything with you guys because i'm very excited about it and i just wanted to share the excitement with you so we have these new blurring under eye correctors which I think is awesome. She has those couture sequins in it, very iconic in this kind of almost pharmaceutical looking packaging, which makes sense for Pat McGrath Lab. Don't throw these away. I heard the story about these sequins and I know Pat McGrath really loves glittery, beautiful things. When we were in Tokyo, also, I don't know how this happened or anything like that but yeah we, i went to tokyo with pat mcgrath and we sat and stuck these jewel tone stickers all over our phone cases she loves stickers and loves glittery beautiful things so keep these these are actually couture sequins if you look at other sequins they don't look like these and i think she gets them from like france or something like that something crazy i'm like i didn't even know sequins could do that anyways this isn't a sequence review it's a concealer review let's get into it like i said I really wanted to share the excitement and do this with you on camera because I haven't even opened them or tried them I have five shades here based on my foundation shade and I kind of fluctuate I can go from medium 20 21 22 is kind of the range I stay in but I've also been in the medium deep like 24 25 um, when I want to pretend I'm much more tan than I am and that's another thing that kind of speaks about the foundation is I know a foundation is really good if you can use multiple shades in the shade range because that's how skin perfecting it is if you can use multiple colors I feel like they've done a great job with really enhancing your skin so that's why I can wear deeper shades like 24 but lighter shades like I've even put 14 underneath my eyes and anyways so based on my complexion I have five shades here packaging stunning as always you feel like you have something mad luxe so I have new stuff because I always get my fingerprints all over everything but anyways this is what the concealer looks like so we have the skin fetish sublime perfection concealer system even the box like I never want to throw away the box Woo! this is glass luxe so this is the first ever concealer. Very exciting on an already amazing line. Makes every flawless face fantasy come true. Creamy and full coverage. That's very exciting because of how sheer the foundation is. It's a natural radiant matte finish. Weightless and endlessly accommodating to the face's most exquisite contours and extreme expressions it provides. This sounds sexual. What? It provides a sensuously smooth coverage that becomes one with the skin. I feel like the foundation is very much like that. Mimicking its natural stretch and elasticity sounds creasing or caking. I crease under my eyes. 
And you know, back in the day, I'd be like, you know what, I have full coverage, I'll just wipe the creases away, whatever. But now it's 2020 and I'm just like, you don't have to struggle like that. So this is great, I'm really excited to try this. I need to read this to you. So, crafted with Vita Serum Complexa. Mother always freaking use all these big words that I'm just, don't know. Okay, so it's Vita Serum Complex Designed. Okay, let's just break it down. To help fight the formation of wrinkles, need by preserving hydrolipidic. That's, you know what? That's a word that I struggled with when I was reviewing the foundation, hydrolipidic. I know what it is now because I asked Siri. Film barrier of the skin, boosts hydration, activating natural production of hydrolytic acid, one of my favorite ingredients, yes. And ceramides, okay, so it's a property flex form matrix powder blend ensures uniform and true color, which is interesting because I think that's why I can use so many shades of the foundation because it does kind of bend to perfect and work with your own skin tone. Blending smoothly into the skin, optically diffusing pigments, unveil sublime soft focus effects. Again, that's what I feel like is in the foundation. Elegantly improving skin texture and by optically smoothing and blurring appearance of fine lines and imperfections. I get little lines around my eyes especially because I be laughing all the time and making faces. It's a flexible, lightweight formula that imparts superior all-day performance, so it's long-wearing just like the foundation, which is what I need. I've talked about that before in other videos. I really need long wear because of the dry patches on my face because I find with not long-wearing products, I get patchy-looking skin because the makeup will stick to the patches and then disappear everywhere else. So it's a luxe velvety texture with an exceptional silky feel. So I will try that out for myself and see. I have trust with with Pat McGrath Labs because of how much I love the foundation. Can I just say, I was so afraid to try the foundation because I was like, what if I'm allergic to it? What if I hate it? What if I won't use it all the time? And I was wearing the same foundation every single day for like, I don't know, I'd say like six years of as my main, my main bitch. I had a bunch of side bitches, but it was my main bitch. Totally got rid of that one. This is now my main, my queen, my wife for life. Now that that trust is built and I'm excited about it, I'm really excited to try the concealers. So it has 36 shades across five levels, which is similar to the foundations. Light, light, medium, 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 deep, and deep. And it actually came with a concealer brush that she just launched, which I am very interested about. And you know what I noticed about her powder brushes? If you look at her brushes versus, you know, your kind of standard brush, they're quite a bit shorter. And I feel like, like, Pat McGrath is the queen of backstage. A lot of the most iconic runway looks and are done backstage. And I think this is really interesting that she chose such short handle brushes. And when I was in makeup school, they would come and knock the brush out of your hand when you're using a long brush. Because if you're going like this, on a model backstage and someone bumps you because it's very busy backstage, you, you're poking somebody in the eye. Pat McGrath is also a very hands-on person, does a lot of things with their hands and so do I. So I think this is really cool so you have no room to be bumped. You have no room to, you know, everything fits in your hand. I mean, I have big, big hands, but still, these are pretty short brushes. This is the foundation brush where you have full control. You're using every muscle in your hand to like get everything smoothed in. So I think the short handle brush is genius and I'm very excited to try it out. I do a lot with my hands on clients. When I did clients, I would use brushes only and then sometimes my hands too. But anyways, that's just an interesting fun fact that I thought was really neat about the brushes. So let me show you this up close. So this is the Sublime Perfection Concealer Brush. It's actually quite unique because it's got this angled tip at the top. This is so cool. This is, it's unique angled shape was specifically designed to mimic mother's signature fingertip technique. Finger gang. It effortlessly blends the Sublime Perfection Concealer into blemishes under the eyes while smoothing and blurring imperfections with its dramatic 40 degree slant. She's so extra. Look at that slant. Extra. 
The brush allows for intuitive, effortless application and exquisite control with immaculate blendability and superb lay down. It's cruelty free, vegan, and FSC certified wood handle. So I just want to say too, these type of really fine fibers on this brush are very gentle on the skin, which I think is genius for such a delicate area like around your eyes, which is the thinnest skin on your body. The gold handle. Beautiful. And next up we have the Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. So honestly, I could watch videos of unboxing these all day. So it's got like a dome shape. It almost looks like a mineral powder, but oh wow. That is an interesting feel. Like I feel like I don't have any grooves in my fingertips. It's a transparent weightless powder, ultimate finishing, luxurious and silky, and that brightens dark circles and diminishes the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Three universal shades match all skin tones. Each of these three shades go with one of the 36, or even two of the 36, or even three of the 36 Sublime Perfection Skin line. So it's composed of the Primer Grass Ultra Hydrating Primer, blendable. So anyways, I just want to bathe in these sequins, to be honest. Little. Who flies in sequins? Mother does. It's pretty extraordinary. So these are the three shades together. Light, medium, and deep. And if anybody knows skin on all skin tones, it's Pat McGrath. So I'm very excited to try these out. They're very sheer, like I can even swatch them on my skin. And I'll try and put a lot on there so you can see it. Do you even hear that? It's so soft, it's just like so crazy. So anyways, there's light, medium, and deep. Give it a few taps, they all blend in. Crazy. The little like craters on my hand just kind of like disappeared. So anyway, whatever, wow. I haven't even swatched these concealers. So these are the colors that I have. Completely covers my tattoo. I'll even give it a little blend. Still covering my tattoo. A blend in my tattoos covered. I bet you if I mix them all together, even though they're not all the same shade, I will have. Weird. Weird to see myself without it. Okay. I bet you tap it on and you can get... Look how far it spread. Weird. Oh, hi. No, I didn't. Mom and Dad. I don't have a tattoo on my hand. So I'm just going to put on some moisturizer and uh, let's get into the entire system. I'm not excited to try it all up together. First, I'm going to get into the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. With this, I actually like to take a super small amount and start from my center of my face. First, I warm it up, then just smooth. Oh, I really love the way it smells. Smooth it out where I have the most texture, which is usually like T-zone where all the pores are and stuff. And it has like a bit of grip to it, which is tight. Next up, I'm going to do the Sublime Perfection Skin Fetish Medium Deep 22 Foundation. I like to use my hand, but with this one, I'm gonna do some brush stuff. Just pretend it looks nice. Foundation brush. I like the brush for just like a super sheer light amount. Just massaging it in. What I do is like, I've seen people actually, when they were demoing it, put the powder and then put another layer of foundation over top just to build up coverage, but I just like to let it sit for a second. And I like to also take like a lighter shade of the foundation and put it in my T-zone, but I just wanna see the concealer in all of its glory today, so. So after it's set for just a second, you can add another layer. I'm not gonna go full coverage with the foundation because I really wanna see See how the concealer does. I'm really freaking excited to try it. So I think just two layers for me today. Oh yes. It's my favorite. The, the brush is good to get in the little areas I can't. Next, the freaking concealer. So I'm gonna try the shade medium or MD22, which I think is medium deep 22, which is my foundation shade. I'm gonna do a couple swipes. So it's pretty close to my skin tone or foundation color. So I'm just gonna get any little imperfections here and I think to highlight I'm gonna take M16 the highest points in my face yeah let's try this brush out it feels really gentle like no tugging might even highlight just a bit more Ooh, let's go under the brow there
Now, I'm such a finger person. This is, well, I have a big finger, I think, but this is pretty well the size of a finger. And it's very easy to maneuver because it's got such fine hairs on it. I feel like you can just kind of swiggle it around easier than you could a finger. I mean, it blends it around better than what my finger would. That's really pretty. I think I need to brighten it a little bit more too. Usually it goes so light underneath my eyes. It looks like, it's weird because I can, I feel like I can still see my skin or what appears to be my skin, but it's full, it's very full coverage. Let's do the mustache. Let's be real with ourselves today. I haven't used a concealer brush in a very, very long time. Yeah, since I had nails back in the day because I used a pot concealer. I usually use big brushes. I would almost just like whisk the edges with the foundation brush. Let's try a lighter color and see what happens. I'm gonna do, ooh, could you imagine if I did this? That'd probably do it. Let's just be like really over the top and do a little bit of the M14 on our just on the tip of the nose, top of the cheekbones, like that. I think this brush would be really nice for the little powder. What I like about this concealer brush is that you can kind of, you can still wiggle it back and forth or do swirkles and it, it doesn't take the product off, which is why I don't really like to use brushes a ton because I feel like it can take the product off underneath. Yeah, I feel like I can still see what looks like skin, if that makes sense. My, while my skin is totally covered, I still feel like it looks like skin, like it doesn't look cakey or anything like that. It's smooth and radiant, just like how the foundation is, so. <laughs> These really fine hairs, it almost looks like fuzz on the very tip, it's so fine, like really helps to kind of smooth over any uneven texture on the skin and lay it over evenly, so if that makes sense. The way I kind of visualize it is, if you have a stiff brush and you have texture, it's gonna go like this right over top, like let's say these in between my fingers is textures. If you have something really soft and a little bit more fluffy, it can get into those little areas. So instead of exaggerating the texture or unevenness, it kind of lays it out over evenly over your skin. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's how I visualize it. Instead of skipping bumps, for example, I don't know if you've ever just done eyeliner and sometimes it like skips areas or skips over wrinkles or whatever and you wanna go like this to get it nice and smooth. It kind of, instead of having to like stretch your skin to get into every little area, the little tiny little bits kind of get into everything and distribute it evenly. I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera. Hopefully I'm not rambling and not making sense and then I'm gonna try the under eye braiding powders. Excited. Okay, so eyebrows are on. I'm gonna get into these. I don't even know which one to use. I think I'm gonna try the medium and the deep just to see. They're for your under eyes, but I don't know. Yeah, let's try it. I'm gonna do the medium. I want to use the concealer brush for it. I'm just gonna wipe off the concealer a little bit so it's not wet. And I'm gonna take this guy. I almost want to use the light one. Should I try the light one? Yo, I could even use the light. It does actually deepen on the skin, I feel like. But man, is that ever pretty. Let me try it with the powder brush. Just let's see what happens. Cause that's a more dense brush. And when you have a more dense brush, more product will be put on. This is a very fluffy brush. So a lot less will be put on. I just want to like put it in my pores. Cause it's like so smooth. It's not for your face. Well, you could use it wherever you want, really. I kinda, I don't know if I like the light or the medium better. Doesn't make me look old, which is nice. So I tried a little bit of the light. Very interesting. I feel like I just wanna put it in my little laugh line there, too. It feels very smooth. It's a really interesting texture. I think this is something that would be really great for somebody like me who typically doesn't wear powder all over the face or bake, but I do like just a touch of powder underneath my eyes sometimes just to set it because I do crease under there. And this seems to give it kind of like still maintaining its radiance, I guess just because I put it here, but just kind of smoothing out texture. Technology. All right, so I'm gonna get into my light medium two powder and my powder brush, and I'm just gonna swipe a tiny bit. This powder is really interesting because I don't believe that it's like truly matte. It kind of just like blurs the skin while still keeping the radiance of the foundation, which is one of my favorite things about it. I live in a place that's a little bit on the drier side, so 
I know going into a humid climate, which I'm about to, I definitely use powder more so than I do here. It seems to go over top really well. They both feel like they're like a super fine powder. I don't know how to explain it, but all of the products that I actually use for powder on my face, you know, like my bronzer and everything like that, I don't just use regular powders. I use very fine powders so that it blends over top of my skin's texture. I have dry, patchy skin, and I find the finer the powder, the more blended it looks over top of texture. Regular contour powders and stuff like that seem to look a little bit blotchy on me or I can't build it up or I look old or whatever. So I like a fine powder and this is a very fine powder and I think this is great for more mature skin too, um, the finer powders. When you're younger you can get away with a lot more. So I'm gonna go into medium deep four powder because I wanna use it as a bronzer which is what I did when I did the foundation review video. Right into the hollows of my cheeks for a nice little bronze time. And that is the setting powder in deep five. I like it as a bronzer. And I'm gonna do the medium deep four. And I'm gonna use that to just do a little contour on my nose. Pat McGrath eyeshadow brush, a tiny little bit. Let's do some eyes, why not? Let's just complete it, you feel me? Okay, so first I'm gonna do a little bit in my crease. So I'm gonna take this, I used this not too long ago, or quite a while ago, but I like to use, if I'm gonna palette jump, I wanna make sure that I have used it before in a video so you have other ways you can use it. So I'm gonna go into the neutral shade in there and just buff out the crease a little bit. My skin feels really good, and I feel like sometimes with certain concealers, it can feel quite tight. Not today, ma'am. I'm just gonna freaking go for it. I'm gonna go into this palette here, into this gold, and I'm gonna lay that down all over the lid with my finger, I think, and then I'll buff it out. Really like gold to, I mean, fingers to lay down product. And then using a nice fluffy brush to soften the edges. Then I'm gonna take the Fetish Eyes Eyeliner. Let's do like a quick little halfy line. This is me every time I'm like, oh, just do a little liner and then all of a sudden I'm blending from my hairline, but that's okay. Here for the drums. And I'm just kind of uh, dragging it towards the inner part too so it blends in. Back to the first palette, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this color in the inner corner. Nice. A little highlight in the inner corners of my eyes. Brighten it up a bit. Chill. Okay, and then, get some eyelashes on. I didn't know the camera wasn't on, but all I did was put on some mascara. I'm gonna throw on some lashes. So I'm just gonna slide those on right quick. Oh, uh, lashes on. Okay, and now I just wanna take my Favy Wave, the Sublime Highlight Trio, and I'm just gonna use all of them mixed together, mostly the gold side though. Give myself a little highlight. Cute. For lips, I'm going to take the 1995 Matte Trans Lipstick. And then I'm going to take the Dreamscape Opulous Lip Gloss. I love these because they're so sparkly, but they have no grit to them. Another finely milled particle. Cute. Let's take off this headband. And final thoughts. Okay, so final thoughts. I think the whole system together is gorgeous and I also think they are diverse enough to mix and match. They're all meant to be used together. I've been waiting for the concealer for so long and I'm so excited that it's finally here. I feel like personally I'd like to play around with the colors a little bit more and discover more shades in the concealer lineup just to see how I can manipulate them, see how they blend on other areas of the face. I think the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blur under eye powder is really gorgeous and good for somebody like me that wants just a little bit of a touch up of powder and not someone who really bakes. I really like it. I was shocked at the color. I'm still undecided about whether I'd go for light or medium because it is a fine powder. Any type of powder kind of deepens on the skin. So like I wouldn't look at that and think that, oh, that's for me. You know what I mean? So it's cool to kind of play around with it and see what works for you. Pat McGrath, like the legend of skin so this is all very exciting my skin feels really nice it doesn't feel tight or dry it feels flexible it feels like it moves which is important to me with makeup especially when i'm wearing powder i hate that tight feeling so i feel like i'm laughing and i'm like ha, ha, ha. it's not good luck you know what i mean so anyways 
That completes the little review thing. Do you guys think it's a cop or a draw? You let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow. Love yourself, stay pretty, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care.